I am a soul having the human experience. Let me be a soul. Take a deep breath in. I call upon all of my experience as a teacher and I call upon all of my experience of being soul in this and other lifetimes to guide us forward in the absence of spirit realm beings. So breathing nice and gently, allow your physical body to relax and in your mind's eye, I want you to picture the word of this meditation, which is acceptance. And in your mind, you already know that we have the verb to accept. But acceptance as it is there in front of you is an attitude, a philosophy, a way of being. And from that way of being, the foundation that guides the doing, the implementation of any other action. So emblaze that word acceptance across your brain, embed it there in the hypothalamus between your left and right brain so that it becomes a bridge between the two. Keep it clear, keep it steady, make it in big bold letters, make it in small tiny letters. Change the font on it, give it color, give it a background, frame it, get as creative as you like with the word acceptance as you clearly imprint it on your hypothalamus gland connecting your left to right brain and as you imprint it on your energetic consciousness or mind, your energetic intelligence. Let us make this word, this attitude, this way of being you part of your daily energy system. So even as it is sitting there, the power of the word grows and expands and can shift into your auric field, into your etheric body immediately over the physical body, into your emotional body, mental body and spiritual body. And while you're sitting there and letting the power of this world, the energy of it, filter through, scan for yourself, feel for yourself, where does the power of this word go to for you? Go and check in your base chakra. Is it sitting in your base chakra? Is there an understanding and a knowing of acceptance there in the red chakra of the groin? Does that chakra speak to you to say, I have accepted? I have acceptance, I know, I am doing human. I accept belonging to my physical plane tribe as a manifestation of my belonging in sacred tribe. Does that base chakra say, I accept the limitations of my physical plane life? in the knowing that it serves the evolution of my spiritual plane life. Does that base chakra say, I accept that the limitations of the base chakra are completely connected to the unlimited possibilities and potential of the crown chakra. that my human doingness is by virtue of my divine beingness. Or is your base chakra saying, I accept, I have all of the needs of humanity as it is on this plane here and now. 
that the needs of my base chakra connect me to all doing beings, to all creation in their own need for survival, identity, belonging, commodities. What is your base chakra speaking to your own bodies about acceptance? I accept that my base chakra keeps me grounded in the physical plane world and I am grateful for the service of the earth. I accept that my base chakra keeps me grounded in my fear and my lack. I embrace those agitating essentials as my survival mechanism and work to rise with them out of the lack and into abundance, into beingness. And even as I speak to your base chakras, check, is there a reaction? Is there any sensation, pain? How does your base chakra respond to these various levels or frequencies of acceptance. <coughs> and that's just one chakra. Is the red four petal chakra open and aligned? Is it sending acceptance upward into the sacral chakra and downward into the ground? Is it sending acceptance into your pelvic muscles, into your legs, into your bones, into your spine, into the entire physical structure that keeps you present, strong and available to every moment? How is your base chakra responding to the idea, the notion, the possibility that accepting your presence on the physical plane as a divine being immediately uplifts you into your own heart center? I integrate my divinity into my practical daily human life. And in doing so, I become the master of my physical plane experience. I become a creative, compassionate, loving being of light. And I do the business of living in harmony with the world from my heart. Let us see if your base chakra is more comfortable with I accept all of my failures as stepping stones to success. I accept all of my failures as ways of becoming more myself. I accept all of the detours and tangents of my experience in life to date as the way or meaning of my life discovered. I accept pain as a necessary cog in the wheel of life itself. I accept that I am creation manifest, a multi-dimensional being able to recreate all that is within myself. Just sit quietly for a moment and feel how your base chakra is responding to each of these statements. How does it respond to the knowing 
that there are responsibilities of being soul and doing human. How does it feel with the notion that acceptance immediately places you in a position of personal power and responsibility? That acceptance itself is a spiritual embracing of all that is. It is not a privilege. It is a practice. Feel that base chakra and while you are scanning that, let us see how your other chakras have of their own consciousness, of their own spiritual intelligence, responded. Is there any other chakra in your energy system? that is more aligned with all of the statements, more aligned with the power of this word, more aligned with the philosophy of acceptance. I accept myself as I am. I accept that my worth in the universe is established long before my human existence. I accept that as a creation of the divine, I have a responsibility to co-create moment by moment. I accept that in the law of mutuality, the universe and I conspire to create for the highest good of all parties concerned. I accept that my presence is integral to the presence of all other beings. I accept that my love is so valuable in the universe that without it, there is nothing. I accept that my love and your love are the same. I accept that you and I are one. I accept that I am fragile. I accept that I am vulnerable. I embrace with complete acceptance my ability to create pain and manage pain as part of my own experience of being human. So just breathe for a moment. And let us bring the energy up from your base chakra into your sacral chakra, into your solar plexus and into your heart center and establish that connection fully between the mediating chakra and the heart and the three human chakras where we truly practice acceptance. and feel. Are your chakras behaving like sponges and absorbing all of the information and the words? Are they absorbing the energy of the words? Are they absorbing the feeling of them? Does your energy body know this intuitively? Is it coming up from inside of you and flooding your chakras to say, I know this is the truth of who I am? Or is your brain going, that's a nice thought, but I don't think so. Maybe next year, when I've got time, I'm too busy for this. What is going on there at an energy level within you? Is there a tension? Is there a conflict? In other words, is there acceptance?
And then very gently, just let it all go. Let all of the thinking and all of the feeling and all of the scanning and all of the wondering, let it go. Let it be. Get completely quiet and relaxed. Invite your guides and your angels and the ascended masters to once again become present in the sacred space. And in the presence of the presence, take a moment to be with yourself. Take a moment to feel your purposeful value in the world. I accept that I incarnate on purpose. I accept that all beings incarnate on purpose. I embrace incarnation as a way of experiencing my oneness as oneness. I embrace my incarnated beingness as a way to experience time, space, limitation. Duality. I embrace it as an adventure and a journey of love. I accept I am here now. And in being so, I do my best. I accept that everything else is outside of the realms of my creation and I respect that which is the creation of others. And just breathing gently, let the energy of your guides and the masters flow through you. For those of you who have worked with Archangel Michael or Archangel Gabriel or Archangel Raphael in the past, engage with them there in the quiet of your mind in order to sever old ties, to open up new opportunities, and of course, to heal some of the old wounds around being unaccepted, rejected, abandoned, unwanted, unseen, or unheard. We are blessed. And for the space of consciousness in which healing happens, I accept that I ask and it is given. I accept that the healing energy of the universe is eternally available to me every moment. And I receive it with grace. I accept that I am worthy of it. 
So any and every time there is a moment of hesitation or a moment of doubt, bring yourself back into this moment of acceptance. I accept. The way it is, is the way it is, and the way it is, is designed for our highest good. It is designed for our mutual good. It is designed from love. When you are ready, take a deep breath in, accept that you have come to the end of this meditation and bring yourself back into the present moment, ready to get on with real life and the practice of acceptance in that real life.